Raphael James delivers the latest news from around the low country each weeknight on Live 5 News. In this special edition of Quintez Close Ups, I sit down exclusively with him one on one. And be sure to download the free Quintez Close Ups app in your Apple or Google Play stores. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Raphael James, welcome back to Quintez Close Ups. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Again. <laughs> Appreciate it. Anytime. Obviously, you're one of the main news anchors here at WCSC Live 5 News. And I know just recently, you just made some news, made some news I guess, because you posted this on your Facebook page, and now it has gone viral. Well, yeah. My, uh, hanging out in West Ashley, and the kids saw the sign Old Town Road, so they wanted to stop, and we made a little video. And <laughs> I had no idea that many people would click on it, but it was fine. Yeah. So what exactly happened in Old Town Road? <laughs> exactly, you know? So we just... <laughs> did a little video, did yeah. a little dance, and uh, yeah. we called it a day. That was fun. That was fun. Good stuff. Good stuff. Obviously, you work, have been working at Channel 5 since November 2002 right. as one of the news anchors and reporters here. What is the biggest difference between 2002 and 2019 in your mind? Wow. Uh, there have been a lot of changes, a lot of changes of people. Companies have changed. Technology has changed. So all of those things go into uh, totally different product. Um, I like to say though, the thing that's been consistent is our our message, our brand, what we do, how we deliver the news, our integrity. I think those things have stayed consistent, even though the way we gather news and the way we disseminate news has changed drastically. Drastically. You talked about technology. Obviously you guys are staying focused on your message and delivery. Why do people trust you in the era of social media, iPads, and all this other stuff? I think um, we get the benefit from our news brand. Uh, they trust us on the air, they trust us on television, and we have a dynamic digital team that makes sure that we have content that's on the uh, uh, different platforms, that it's up to date, that it's accurate. Uh, they do a good job with that back there. So that just translates into trust on that platform as well. As well. Lee's philosophy, you said this quote, my job is to help, to inform, and to be true, not just to you, but to myself. Right. What would you add to that right now, thinking about all that's been going on in the news recently? I don't know that I'd add anything to it. It's just the core concept, and at my base, that is what I do. And if I can live up to that, I don't think I have to add anymore. Add anymore? What more would you add? <laughs> <laughs> I can't comment. <laughs> um, but uh, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Obviously, like I mentioned, you've been a news anchor here since 2002. Right. If I were to interview you for Quintus Close Ups five years from now, what would be the headline about your future? I don't know, Quentin. Um, I don't pretend to have a future, a, a crystal ball sure. to be able to read the future. I honestly don't know. Um, I have to think on that one to give that one some more thought. Uh, things things change so much. Uh, things change in my personal life. Um, one of the, I don't know, I have to think about that. What more thoughts do you have now? Because I was sitting in, in the movie theater that night when that happened about the Emmanuel documentary. We saw you there. You obviously was on the scene. That's a, a terrific story. What more thoughts do you have now? The um, First of all, I'd like to thank the people who put that movie together and made it possible. Um, the producers, um, the family members, the way they put that story together, the way, the way they told the real stories uh, I thought was masterful. Um, the way they weaved in from tragedy to, at times, even comedy. And, you know, they, they made us cry, but they also gave us hope. Um, it's a serious message, and uh, I was just glad to have a, a, any role in putting that together. Um, I think that documentary can be transformative for us here in the way that we see race, in the way that we think of each other as humans, in the way that we interact, in the way that we forgive. I think that, and I like what they did at the showings of the movie. They had um, Q and A. That the one I went to at the James Island Terrace, where you could uh, talk to the producers about the movie and about what they thought, and just seeing it and listening to people 
over across the country, they came out and they talked. Some of them came out and they prayed. But that dialogue began of how we are more alike than different and what can we do to erase the impacts of racism in this country. To be continued. All right. Thank you, sir. Oh, you're welcome. Raphael James, thank you for your time. And again, welcome back to Compton School Sets. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Anytime. And thank you. Before I go, I do want to mention this. When people ask me how they get into the news business, I often refer them to you. Oh, God. And I tell them that with all of the technology that we've been talking about, right. there's no reason you can't start out doing it on your own, doing your own thing and not being afraid to bring quality, bring content to your viewers now. Don't wait until you get a platform, build your own platform. So I applaud you for that and just know that I'm using you as an example to a lot of people out there trying to get in this business. So thank you for what you do. You want me to do what God has anointed me to do. There you go. Yes, Thanks a lot, Clint. Thank you.